hello, welcome back. This is the 21st training vlog. I'll be covering another deadlift session. And as you can see, I'm starting things off with an easy 430 for 3 pull. Before I go any further with the vlog, just make sure you click that link down below and check out my Patreon. I do have a power building template on there. It only costs $5 a month, and it is a pretty great value, I have to say. Um, I also help you make the template work for you answer any questions that you may have, uh, just ask them once you sign up as a Patreon, check out the program, and then if you have any questions or concerns about how you could, you know, adjust, uh, say, the volume or the uh, progression, I do have that laid out. Um, I give general guidance, but then I also provide some guidelines after that that are in the uh, notes of the program. That way, if the general progression that's, you know, an average progression that I lay out, say if that's too hard or too easy for you, um, you know, you can change that, and if any of the given exercises don't work for your gym situation, I provide substitutions, and anything that I don't cover, you know, you can just ask a question. So, once again, check that link out down below. Thank you. Back uh, over to the vlog. So, you may be wondering why I'm resetting my grip on every rep with the top set. Um, when you pull hook grip, uh, sometimes if you keep your fingers in the same position the whole time, it just becomes too uncomfortable. So I find that resetting my hook in between reps, uh, it really helps with the whole comfort aspect. Uh, it helps my thumbs feel like they're not going to explode, basically. Uh, nothing too important to note on the snatch grip RDLs. I did add quite a f substantial amount of weight. I went from 245 to 270, and I ended up getting one more rep at about RPE 8. Um, that's to be expected because with the 245 for 8, you know, I was sandbagging. Um, the next movement I supersetted that with is the semi-supinated football bar chin-up. Uh, I'm really liking how strong I'm feeling on that. Uh, I really haven't been feeling strong on the vertical pulls as I've been bulking. But, you know, with this uh, hand position, I can engage more bicep, and I have a lot of hopes for uh, this improving my pull-up strength in the long run just because it's going to help me get used to handling heavier weights again. And, you know, also nothing special with the Penle rows, just, you know, adding reps, then load. Uh, I'm hopefully going to be at the point soon where I beat my previous PR in a fatigued state. Uh, that's going to be huge as far as my upper back strength goes. Because, you know, the best I've ever gotten is 230 for 10, and that was when I was fresh. So, you know, just imagine if I can get that after three sets of pull-ups. That's going to be pretty substantial. So, finally caught up now. Uh, I am doing the barbell back extension uh, up to 135 now and it's still feeling pretty easy so pretty sure next week I'll probably go up to like 150 or something like that and crank out more sets of 10. I'm expecting you know just to pretty much add 10 to 20 pounds every week with sets of 10 until it starts getting pretty hard. At that point I will slow the progression down a little bit and I'm still thinking that I'm going to be on pace to hit 225 for 10 uh, probably sometime in August if I had to guess. So Finishing up the workout, at least the shown footage, with some sissy squats. I did do leg curls after, but I don't like looking up at the LED that I have up on the ceiling just because it, you know, burns my eyeballs. So when I did them, I just turned that off and turned on the little lamp that I have plugged in on the wall over there. And the lighting was just so bad on the footage that I'm not going to use it. it um, you can't really see much anyways. Anyways, back to the sissy squats, though. Um... I'm starting to notice that, you know, as I'm getting stronger on these, that I'm going to have to be more patient with how fast I'm loading them. Just because it's such a vulnerable position and something I'm relatively new to, you know, I don't have um, all the support structure built up in my knees yet to really handle pushing this hard. Say, um, like I would push something hard like a deadlift, you know, something that I've been doing for a long time. And... Actually, the key with this exercise really is not loading up a whole bunch of weight because then you're going to lose the ability to uh, push through the balls of your feet. And just like with all your other hypertrophy work, you're going to get a lot more out of you know what you're doing if you can control the weight, uh, really feel the eccentric, you know, not dive bombing the reps, and also you know pushing through um, and activating the muscles with intent. So that just about wraps up everything I had to talk about today. Thanks a lot for watching this video. You know, make sure to leave a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, check out my Instagram and TikTok. 
Um, my following is actually getting pretty big on TikTok, although I have the least amount of engagement there. So, you know, I find that to be pretty strange. So uh, if any of you guys have a TikTok, you know, check me out, comment on some of my videos, and hopefully uh, we can boost my engagement on that platform. Um, one more thing, make sure to hit the like button. Uh, and once again, check out my Patreon. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.